Hello friends, I am Anvesha and in this video I am going to tell you how you can study current affairs in very less time and also remember everything that you have studied and score a very good marks in your examination. So from many of you I have heard that it becomes very difficult for you to complete your current affairs PDFs and you take every day one or one and a half hours in current affairs. Now that is not a very efficient way of doing it. So in this video I will show you how you can go through your current affairs PDF very very fast. Okay, so let's begin. So I'll be taking this PDF and uh, I'll be showing you how you can cover current affairs in a fast manner. Okay, uh, this one, this current affairs is of 26th July, that is yesterday. Okay, uh, so let me uh, take this now. Uh, read the first one. At first, you should go through the headline: Government of India amends flag code of India 2022 to allow tricolor to be flown day and night. Uh, look at the picture the in the picture gives you all the information actually flag code of India is amended you can allow tricolor which means you can hoist flag day and night so all throughout day and night your flag can uh, you know can be flown okay so this is the main thing and who said this the Ministry of Home Affairs this Ministry of Home Affairs so who amended the flag code of India the Ministry of Home Affairs has amended okay next uh, why? Now the question is why? Because of this one. Har ghar tiranga. Flag hoisting in every home. When will it be conducted? This one? 13th to 15th August. It is a part of which uh, ceremony or which scheme or uh, something. So it is a part of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Okay. So now. Okay, let me use this one. Yeah. So Har ghar tiranga. Then August 13th to 15th, Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Okay, now no need of going through all these details. These are your main points. You have to just remember the main points. Now here it is given the flag code of 2022 has been divided into these three parts. Now tell me, are you going to write a descriptive answer or just MCQs on GA, general awareness on current affairs? You are just going to attempt mcqs in your exam so no need of going through all these okay irrelevant for your examination yes if you are if you are um, preparing for state pcs or uh, you know uh, st sorry state psc or upsc then you can study all these but for your bank exams it is not required fine now all these are unimportant okay fine now one thing here that you know uh, now flags can be of polyester material as well so polyester has been allowed so remember this point okay next next okay next is this one look uh, now here we have a name and whenever there is a name it becomes kind of important okay ajay bhalla the union secretary has given the secretaries of all uh, central ministries and departments instructions to make sure that these are widely distributed. Not important. He has not done anything great, okay? Anything exemplary. No, not important. Now, the flag is... Uh, now, here, uh, if you look at all these, there, uh, you know, details are there that uh, the upper portion is of saffron color, then there is... Uh, the middle portion is of white color, the lower portion is of green color. You already know these things, so you don't have to read them again okay but this one is important that the flag is based on swaraj flag a flag of indian national congress now flag the flag is designed by whom by this person remember this name pingali venkaya okay the width uh, the ratio of the length to the height uh, length to the height of the flag that is the width is 3 is to 2 that's all okay now azadi ka amrit mahotsav this one um, is celebrated by an iconic uh, week celebrations of the celebrated by which ministry ministry of finance and ministry of corporate affairs okay now over no need of going through all these details okay next next uh, read the next one next headline Ayush minister Sarbananda Sonowal inaugurates vaccination center who inaugurated Sarbananda Sonowal who is Sarbananda Sonowal Ayush minister okay and he inaugurated what vaccination center for children and launched one app what is the name of the app bal raksha mobile app now he launched vaccination center for children now the question comes where 
he has launched bal raksha mobile app where where has he launched all india institute of ayurveda at new delhi so this name of this place becomes important now now very uh, you know this is a common sense bal raksha what is the meaning of bal bal means children and what is the meaning of raksha raksha means protection so it is an app for protecting children it is an app for protecting children which means healthcare preventive healthcare through ayurvedic in, uh, intervention okay and this app is a tribute to this person late dr sanjay gupta done okay now regarding this one this institute where is the headquarter no need of remembering the name of the director not important the headquarter is in new delhi why not important because this is not a financial institution okay you are going to appear for bank exams the financial institutions nbfcs the pay, uh, payment banks um, uh, then uh, your commercial banks the rural banks these are important okay but this is not important fine so you just need to remember the headquarter next article is sap labs sap labs india partners with who with negd to set up what to set up center for digital government sap center what is the name sap center for digital government scdg so what is important only few things are important sap labs plus negd equals to scdg okay fine only this much is important where is the headquarter of sap labs india sap labs india is based in bengaluru karnataka okay and its global headquarter is in germany don't remember this entire name not important okay germany fine okay now the scdg this was inaugurated by whom by abhishek singh who is the president ceo uh, president and ceo of ngd meeti and miss and miss sindhu gangadharan okay not very important but if you can you, you if you can you can remember but not very important not very important okay slightly important you can say okay now uh, the uh, this one this negd and sap labs this one will collaborate to do this we have already seen that but it is collaborating with a ministry which ministry m e i t y that is ministry of ministry of electronics and information technology that was also given okay so no need of going through all these details now okay and what what will it do no need of going through why because you are not appearing for any descriptive uh, uh, you know examination this is an objective examination done okay so like i said it will be collaborating with meeti and ministry of commerce and so a uh, name of ministries become important okay name of ministries names of ministries are important then um, whenever something is inaugurated or something is done who did it where has it been inaugurated okay if there is a name of a scheme or any uh, occasion then remember that okay and which ministry these points are important just need to remember these points so so this is how you should uh, you know read current affairs now you uh, you see i have here what have i done i have marked the important points so whenever you go through a pdf you should do the same you should mark the important points okay you should uh, use a highlighter for marking mark the important points and next time while revising you just need to revise only the marked ones not the entire pdf okay so suppose today you take 30 minutes for reading for going through this pdf and marking next time when you revise it will hardly take you 10 minutes why because you are going through only the important points okay this is the way you should do it so now once you have uh, done a day's current affairs like today 27 july so once you uh, complete 27 july's current affairs the next day that is on 28 july you should take a quiz on the current affairs of 27th july that is on the current affairs of the previous day to analyze yourself to see whether you remember or not okay this is the way you should go about and on sundays go through the pdfs go through the pdfs of the entire week how will you go through the pdfs you will go through only the marked points only the highlighted points not the entire pdf okay so um, in this way you can reduce your time or uh, uh, for studying current affairs you can study current affairs effectively efficiently and also utilize the rest of the time for studying the other subjects thank you so much i hope this video has helped you please subscribe to my channel and also please click the like button and share the video with your friends thank you so much